Hello, dinky do, it's just me, Scotty McClue. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sunday night pop-up, of course. Nothing gets past me. And lovely to be with you all on a Sunday night. Now, of course, we need to spread the word. We need to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 and get everybody sorted out because no doubt you'll be away to your televisions. You'll be expecting to hear me at 10 o'clock sharp on Nation Radio. But here we are, of course, with a pop-up and lovely to see you and dinky do Jim Ritchie is watching. Come and join us, Jim. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And James Skykoa. Skykoa. Lovely name that. Skykoa. We like that. Julianne Scott says, hello, Scotty. Hello, Julianne. How are you tonight? Excellent. Tell everybody. Tony Max watching. Brilliant stuff. Lisa Anderson. Julianne, come and join us live, of course. And Jeanne Wilson. Lovely to have you with us. Tam Tam New Wilson and uh, Carl Carlos Donnelly is with us tonight. So welcome, 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 I see. Scotty McClure's Sunday Night Pop-Up. We're live on Facebook Live. That's the big one, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. And, of course, here we are again. What a busy time it's been for Scotty McClure, though. Fantastic. And of course, our last broadcast, we had so many new people joining us internationally. They were all coming up, and they were saying, there's Lisa Anderson. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Lisa. Dinky do and welcome from me, Scott McClure. Stuart Neely. Hi, Scotty. From Dumbarton. Hi, Stuart. Stuart Errol McClure. Paul Francis Carroll. Stuart Errol McClue is, of course, in the Carolinas. And Paul Francis Carroll, dinky do to you. I listen to you on radio all the way, says Julianne. Fantastic. Stephen McFarland says, good evening. Good evening, Stephen. Lovely to have you with us. And Christine Garvin, dinky do. Lisa Trainer, hi, Scotty. Hi, Lisa. Lovely to have you with us. Everybody get sharing. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is, of course, live. Cliff Deary. All right, Scotty. All right, Cliff. Lovely to have you with us, and dinky do. We had so many of you joining us internationally, and people were going, what is this? What is this? And I had to tell them, it's World Unity. Scotty from Greenville, South Carolina. Support our American service members. Absolutely, sir. Gordon Ruddick, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Is the gremlin away tonight, Scotty? Hello, McClure. Can you give the business a wee shout out? Lots of seats now, uh, despite concerns about... Brexit. They are Wally Logan. Uh, no, the Gremlin's not away. The studio is out for maintenance. So I won't be on Nation Radio tonight. I wanted just to tip you all the wink. So we'll have a bit of a chat here. Good evening to you, Scotty, says Mark Kelsey and Michael Yule. Hello, mate. Good evening, says Helen McCallum. Hello, Helen. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. So there you are. But we managed very well last night, even with the Gremlin. So there you go. Excellent. But you're always going to get little gremlins. Nicky Harvey winning. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, I'm in Greenfield in Glasgow, says Cliff Deary. Good for you, Cliff. Excellent stuff. We like our Ouija's on here, but we welcome everybody from across the globe. Very, very important. Hi, Scotty boys, says John Robertson. Hello, John. Dinky do. Uh, you've been emptied already, says Gordon Stilling. Absolutely, Gordon Stilling. An empty here, but we're still got a large glass for taking sippers. Mm. Was that Neil Hallgate popping past there? Uh, guess what, Scotty? I won tickets for the 1975 gig on Saturday on Nation Radio last week. Lisa Trainer, that's fantastic. Nation Radio is really, really taking the biscuit in central Scotland. Uh, you hear about the supermarket stockpiling. Yes, the Brexit thing, I think what I would do is phone tomorrow morning and cancel the whole thing. I wouldn't actually put up with that, to be quite honest with you, but there we go. Hold on, folks. Are we all right lighting-wise? Got a wee bit of lighting. Sorry if my coupon's a wee bit close there. There we go. Got a bit of lighting for you. How's that? Is that okay? Um, um, excellent stuff. Uh, is that Glenn's? Glenn's. Uh, what's Glenn's, Cliff Deary? What are you telling me about? I ask you. Lovely to be with you, folks, of course. Great to do a Scotty McClue pop up on the Sunday evening. Danny Boyle's watching. Dinky do, Danny. Lovely to have you with us. I'm just going to do a quick share here, folks. 
I'm just watching this as we are up, and I shall do a share. Now, uh, hi, Scott, and here. Say hello to the amazing nurses and the medical staff at Queen Elizabeth University Hospital. Um, and uh, they are amazing, absolutely. Vodka, Scotty, no, 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 no. Plain water, dear boy, plain water. Straight body, no, 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 no. Plain water, plain water. Uh, Liz Mullen, thank you, dear. Lovely to have you with us. And Alec Hall, of course. Always a bit of nonsense in this program with you lot. Evening, Scotty, what's your topic? Says Michael Paul McVeigh. We're talking about everything, Michael. That's what we do on here. We're very, very, very clever people, of course. Uh, but we've also, the lighting's fine, Scotty, says Lisa. Good, Lisa. Excellent. The there's nothing worse than you not being able to get a swatch at my coupon. <laughs> Fantastic. So there we are. Excellent. That's what we like. Um, now, we've been talking about this Brexit thing. As I say, I would just cancel it. I'm still seeing half-witted idiots going on, going, oh, we're leaving, we're leaving, we're leaving. Leaving to what? Oh, for goodness sake. They are the dafties. Uh, James Anderson, how are you? Anis Kshetri. Anis Kshetri. Have I said that right? Anis Kshetri. Dinky do, Scotty. Dinky do, Anis. And um, Christine Garvin, personal care. Personal care, Christine. Are you doing a bit of personal care? Excellent. I, me too, she says. There we are. Oh, lovely and fresh. Excellent. And a nice glass of water for you. Evening, Scotty. Um, loved bringing in the bells with the Hogmanay Bash. First time for me bringing in the bells with radio, says John R. Jackson. 80s Sunday was great as well. Nation Radio is outstanding, guys. That's the future of radio in Scotland. Christopher Love and the present, I'll tell you that. Hello from Nathan. Hello, Nathan. Dinky do. Smashing Barrett Scotty. Uh, Dinky do from Kirkcaldy. From David and Claire. The dafties agreed. So there you are. Yes, only 17 million of them out of 70 million. So not so good, really, is it? Uh, Johnny M. Linney. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Mm. No, I would ring, um, Jean Claude and say, listen, Jean Claude. I know there's been a bit of larking about in the UK. We do apologise for any misunderstandings. We're going to rescind Article 50. We'll do it legally. And uh, if we can just stop the clock and we'll have a think about this, you know. And don't worry, it's certainly not democracy, folks. So don't fall for any of that democracy stuff. Uh, Brexit's a con, Scotty. We won't leave. Let's hope not, Kevin Roberts. Uh, let's hope we stay and remain. I think you're quite right actually i think it's a lot of nonsense but there we are but this democracy thing uh, forget that it was only 17 million out of about 70 million so there you are are you on the radio later says tony mac no not on the radio tonight tony they've got the studio out for maintenance uh, looking for the gremlin so there we are and um, absolutely cancel it scotty knows best Paul Francis Carroll, Scotty McClure does know best. That's what's the strange thing about it. Um, all right, Scotty, New Year was fabulous, says Laura Devlin. I loved doing it, Laura, and I know it was a very, very special programme, and it brought a traditional hogmanay to central Scotland. Just what we want. Scotty, here's a wave, says Wally Logan. Hello, Wally. Hello, Wally. There we are there. You've got two waves there. Two for the price of one. Won't charge you for the second one. Wonder what Captain Cook would have done if he'd said he'd still be thinking in the dock. What are you talking about there? That was if he'd said what you're thinking. He'd still be sitting in the dock. No, not at all. Not even remotely connected. We've had 40 years experience of Europe. Prince Albert wanted to unite Europe in the 1840s. Dinky do, Scotty, what's your thoughts on repeated radio signals reported from deep space? Very interesting. I'm just hoping we can maybe get Scotty McClure's nightline on the moon. Fantastic. How would that be? There we go. A few space cadets been following me for years. Numpty Heed's watching. Dinky do. Numpty Heed, lovely to have you with us. Very, very busy tonight. Right, can you all get sharing, please, folks? Share, 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 share.
I am just leaning over to do some shading. Brexit's not happening. The people will rise and rise up. Michael Paul McVeigh, are we and don't be silly. There'll be no rising up at all. The people will be general rejoicing. They'll be dancing in the streets like they did at the end of World War Two. If we do leave, what trade deals can we do? There'll only be third world countries that will deal with us. Well, uh, I think there's Rab Hill. All right, Scotty, my man. How you doing? James Byer. Hello, sir. It's been a while. Always here for you. Absolutely, James. I hope some of those CDs in the background are G.S. Bach and G.F. Handel. A lot of them. The concert, the concerti grossi. Concerti grossi. What about that? The Cuckoo and the Nightingale, of course. All your favourites there, Paul Francis Carroll. McClue, never a dull moment for a second. You on tonight, Scotty? Nice to hear you. Kevin Bev in Bothwell. Kevin Bev, lovely to hear from you. Not on tonight. The studio's out for maintenance. They're looking for the gremlin that caused us a problem last night. The wonderful Faye Lamont watching. Dinky Doo, lovely to see you up there in Bonnie Dundee. Jim Gallagher watching. James Bauer, Run Rig CDs. Oh, what? Can you say hello to my wife? who's had a baby today at 21 hours. Arthur Adlam, you have a baby that is uh, about 15 minutes old. Is that right? Your Hogwarts Day show was fantastic. Really enjoyed it, says Helen McCallum. I listened to it instead of TV, which was rotten. The TV will always be rotten. Television's off at 10 o'clock on a Friday, Saturday and Sunday because that's my clue time on Nation Radio. Dinky do, I say. And the Hogmanay show was a privilege to do for all of you. Thank you for that. Uh, did your ma ever tell you to go and raffle your donut, Rab Hill? No, Rab Hill. You, did you ever get told to roll a donut? There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Wonderful stuff. So that's that. No, no, she did not say that. Are you on here longer tonight, Scotty? Says Numpteed. We'll see, Numpteed. We'll see how much you've paid for. Uh, can you please tell Lynn Duncan I love her? Lee Shanley, who is it in Dub Fries. Wonderful. Another slippers. Ooh. That's what we like. Ernie Ross is watching. Thank you, dear Ernie. Lovely to have you with us, of course. That's right, says Arthur Adlam. George Raffin, Dinky Do. So, 40 years experience of Europe, status quo, all going well. No need to be selling out. People are panicking already and stockpiling for Brexit. Dafties, I say. Scotty, says John R. Jackson. Yes, stockpiling's a daft thing to do. Scotty, can you ask everyone to chuck in a few quid? to the Maid of the Loch restoration appeal. Did you see the poor old Maid of the Loch the other day? Straight down the slipway. And it was my old chum that put the engines in the Maid of the Loch and the Waverley and um, I think the Bristol Queen, all that, Rankin and Blackmore, the Eagle Foundry in Greenock. You check that up, Gordon Sterling. My old chum Jim Ferrier, a wonderful man. Hello, mate. How are you tonight? Says Kevin Wiggum. Dinky do. I say Arthur Davis. Andrew Reed says hello. Hello. Have we all shared? Let me see if you've shared. Right. Come on now, everybody. Have we shared? Have we shared McClure? Have we shared McClure? There we go. I don't know if you saw the wonderful Andy Murray video. And um, a gentleman, an international Scotty McClure fan in Washington, shouts, Dinky Do Andy from Scotty McClure. I thought that was lovely, a lovely touch. Look forward to hearing you back on the radio on Friday, says Tony Mac. Absolutely. You're looking well, Scotty, my captain. Josh Raffin, lovely to hear from you. I know you're a busy, busy man, but it's lovely to hear from you. And we're away up. I think is this show number 127 tonight. How amazing is that? Do you think immigration will increase if Brexit is cancelled? Kevin Roberts, immigration is tiny in this country, far too small. These are myths put about by xenophobic people that were being overrun by foreigners. Just a lot of bunkum. Immigration is tiny, and all the greatest countries in the world are uh, built on immigration. Scotland could do with being seriously repopulated. Uh, I've not been on for a while, Scotty, but you're looking grand, sir. You too, Rab Hill. Lovely to hear from you. Stephen McKenzie, Brexit won't be cancelled. It's happening. Get used to it, Craig Gallagher. 
Get used to the fact it's not, right? Trust my clue. I have no axe to grind. I have no political agenda. I am apolitical. I am purely interested in what is best for the people of this country and my country. So there you are. Ali Haney, thank you do. Great to get on and talk to you on Friday, Scotty, says the wonderful Lee Sinclair Lee. It was lovely to talk to you on Friday. Everyone should be phoning Scotty McClure on Nation Radio to say dinky-doo. Are you on radio tonight, says Stevie McKenzie? Not tonight, Stevie, because they've got the studio out for maintenance looking for the gremlin. And uh, I think that's wonderful. Why are there so many pigeons missing toes on their feet, says Numpty Heed. Only you count them, not he dinky do. Good to see you from Alan Hall. Uh, what's Brexit anyway? Not a Scooby, says Rab. I think most people, particularly those that voted, haven't got a Scooby. Are you still on the radio, Scotty? You're on Friday night entertainment. I am Lauren Kirkwood, but not tonight. Good morning from Australia, Scotty, says the wonderful Ali Haining. Dinky do, Ali. Good to hear from you. We're all immigrants, Scotty McClure. We uh, would all be enjoying better climates if we were not absolutely we're all africans from the rift valley so there you are if you're watching this program right now remember you are an african wonderful and they came via ireland and then of course this country england uh, is mainly french and italian so that's england for you uh Barbara Anderson, hello Scotty, dinky do, dinky do, Barbara. Lovely to have you with us. The wonderful Ronnie Morrison is watching. Ho ho, I say. And uh, do say hello to Tony Max, says Alan Hall. I will, Alan. I will pass on your regards. Paul Cruikshanks, come and join us. If you've just joined us and you're wondering what on earth's going on, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, talking to you live on Facebook Live. That's the big one. One of the world's great platforms. Uh, dinky do, Scotty, this is Paul Cruikshanks. How are you tonight? I'm great, Paul. And I hope you are well as well. I know you have had a tough time. You've been through the mill. And strength to you and blessings, I say. Uh, Susan Forrest. Hi, Scotty. Hello, Susan. Dinky do. Lovely to hear from you. Mwah. Fantastic. Down in Lancashire. I blame Brexit for the technical issues. Yes, good idea. Uh, can I do a magic trick in your show next week, Scotty? Numb to heat, of course you can. Fantastic. I mean, you could maybe even disappear. Good evening, Scotty. Dinky do. You pulled a sickie tonight, nation. No, Derek. We haven't pulled a sickie. It's just we've got the studio out to get the gremlins sorted. And uh, hiya, says Brian Forge. Hello, Brian. Dinky do from Cliff Deary. So there you are. Send everybody. Come on. Let's have a share. What time are we at? Oh, share time. Share, 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 share. And I can see if you're sharing. So you better make sure you're doing it. Here we go here. I shall do a bit of sharing as well. But you'd better share, I say. There's that wonderful. And many of you have seen it. Six and a half thousand of you have seen the Andy Murray clip. Fantastic. Brexit is an excuse for the haters to blame Europe for all our problems. Absolutely. I mean, we've had nothing but austerity and Brexit since this lot came in. So there you are. So what's been happening to governing the country? Do you see what I mean? Get on with it. You know, they used to pull up uh, Nicola Sturgeon and say to get on with the day job. Stop getting on about independence. Well, stop getting on about Brexit. Get on with the day job, I say. Gremlins, did you forget to buy a power card? Rab, you're a shocker. Um, we're all in uncharted waters. A canoe without a paddle, Captain, says the wonderful George Raffin. You know, George, you've got a point there. We are all in uncharted waters, and it is very much the canoe with oot the paddle. I'm just getting my clue on here for you guys. Fantastic stuff. There we are. So I can see what's happening. Scotty, I was at the Transport Museum today. A splendid place, says Matthew Roberts. Yes, you would see an old coach called the Ardrishig Bell. That belonged to a wonderful man called Andrew Grinlaw. 
and my mother as a tiny used to go to picnics on the back of the Ardrishig Bell, along with all the wee ones from the local school. So there's a bit of information for you. A hee hee. Excellent stuff. The Transport Museum is absolutely outstanding, Matthew. There's no doubt about it. What did you see? Did you see Sir William Burroughs Rolls Royce? Did you see the old steam engines? Wonderful. Martin Morgan, should Scotland negotiate a deal with Catalonia about a Scottish tennis academy in the sun? I think we should all be moving. Sir Andy Murray, many, many congratulations to the wonderful Sir Andy Murray. What a fabulous ambassador for Scotland. What a terrific man. And uh, as I say, I hope you've all seen the Facebook movie, the Facebook video of uh, an international fan in Washington calling out Dinky Doo Andy from Scotty McClure Wonderful. I had a good one the other day. Why are most people calling for independence? Because <laughs> they're married. Oh, very, very good. Kevin Roberts, Dinky Doo from me, Scotty McClure. Excellent stuff. To um to your devices, I say let's hear from you. Scotty, how about getting the squeeze box out and playing a bit of Macpherson's rant? Oh, Derek, I have never, ever practiced Macpherson's rant. I don't know if I could even play Macpherson's rant. I don't know. We'll try. We'll get the squeeze box for you. Now, there's the squeeze box so that nobody would think McClure would ever be cheating. And uh, we'll see. Um, how does this go? Macpherson's rant. What about that? Was that something like it? There you are. A wee bit of McPherson's rant for the nation. Very good, I like it, says Alan Hall. Oh, I don't know it, Alan. It was just off the top of the head there. So hopefully we had a suggestion of McPherson's rant below yon gallows tree. The fiddle and everything. Not bad for not practising Scotties and dinky do says Derek Miller. Thank you, Derry. Yes, you've got to give it a go, haven't you? There we are. Jim Heron's watching the wonderful Jim Heron. Dinky doo. One of the finest men I've ever met. A great uh, theatre designer. Do you think Glasgow... What was that? I missed that. Do you think Glasgow and Edinburgh will go all green and against cars like London? Fantastic, Scotty. That was excellent, says Paul Crookshank. Thank you, Paul. And dinky doo to you, I say. I'm going to do a bit of sharing, folks. We need to share. Have you all shared? Share. Right. <coughs> need to see. Here it comes. I'm just going to do a wee bit sharing. Lovely. And you can all share as well, folks. Very, very important. Share now in public. There we are. We've just done it. Ewan McIntyre's watching. Thank you, do, Ewan. Lovely to have you with us. Very good, says Lisa Trainer. There you are. Was it a little bit like McPherson's rant, Lisa? That's what we need to know. God is sterling. Executed beautifully. Bang on the money, McClue. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> it was you on the bagpipes, Gordon Sterling. No, you're a very fine piper, by the way. Uh, good evening, Scotty. Didn't you do remember I thought you were probably a pipe major? Because the way you did your swing to uh, your 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 co-pilot. Uh, Raymond Benson, Dinky Doo, Susan Copeland Power. Lovely to have you with us. Come and join us every day. Now tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Get sharing, folks. I can see if you've shared. I can see how many of you have shared. So you'd better get sharing. 
Did you do it, I say, and get liking. Lots of likes as well, but the shares are what actually matters because it lets everybody know that we're on. So there we are. Uh, you played that without moving, says Rab Hill. Oh, yes, I don't. I can do ventriloquism as well. I do say hello to Stuart James and say to him, Dinky do too. Hi, Scotty, says Susan Copeland Power. Three lovely kisses. Lovely to see you. Thank you, Susan. Don Scotty, says Lee Sinclair. Yes, very good, Lee. I can tell who's sharing here. I've got the list. Fantastic. And I can see what's going on here. Peter Connolly, lovely to have you with us. Lisa Anderson says, I listened to you for the first time last night. You're hilarious. Lisa Anderson, what a very nice, kindly thing to say. So there we are. I don't set out to be hilarious, I have to say. But um, if some people find it mildly amusing, then that's wonderful. People used to say to me, you're not even funny. And I said, I never, ever said I was. So wonderful. Lots of you here. More music, Scott. This is Michael Paul McVeigh. Scotty, could you give a big shout out to the team trying to save Whitehall? Oh, sorry, White Hill swimming pool in Deniston. Sorry, I thought it was Whitehall. That's a team trying to save Whitehall. Colin Roger, you're fantastic. The squeeze box. My dad loved the accordion. Says George Raffin. Your dad was obviously a very fine man, George Raffin. Peter Connolly, how Scotty followed you since the old Scott FM days? Dinky do. Scott FM was Scotland's finest radio hour. No shadow of doubt about that. Nothing has ever touched it until the advent of Nation Radio. Superb. Uh, play working man. I'm defo. You know that one, Scotty. Says Rab Hill. Oh, I do, Rab, I do. Henry Anderson, come and join us. Hi, Scotty. Can you give my daughter Sky a shout out? Tell her it's bedtime for school. Come on, Sky. Off to Bobo's. That's enough. As soon as McLeod's finished, Bobo's with you. Uh, Scotty, can you give my Labradon stick a shout? He's 13. He's been poorly. He sits and listens to you. The dog listens. It's wonderful. The dogs understand an awful lot more than they let on, you know. So there we are, Graham Loudon. My old Labrador, Lord Reith, used to get up when the um, jingle, the news jingle, went at one o'clock on Scott FM. He was sleeping soundly beneath the desk, and he was a great big dog, not fat, just a very big Labrador. And uh, he would have a sleep all night below the desk, and then um, he would get up when the news jingle fired at one o'clock, and shake his collar. And a gentleman phoned me and said, have you got a dog in the studio? I said, why do you ask? And he said, because uh, I'm blind and I hear his collar medal. Wonderful. Scotty, can you wish my wee daughter Imogen a big fifth birthday, please? Happy fifth birthday, Imogen. From Peter Connolly. So there you are. Stuart Logan's watching. Dinky do, dinky do. Graham Loudon. Excellent. Lovely to have you all with us. Can you say dinky do to Debbie Doll, says Paul Trainer? Of course I can, Paul Trainer. I think a lot of you just watch this program for the shout outs. Yes, there we go. When I started, a friend of mine once said, he said, um, it was all just shout outs. I said, it's a shout out show. That's what it is. But that's like somebody watching Match of the Day and said, it was mainly football games, you know. <laughs> Nothing for the tiddlywinks. Scott FM was class Scotty. Many a time I phoned and got a brilliant laugh. You and the lovable lass. Brilliant times. Rab Hill, they were fantastic times. The lovable lassie of the big switchboard. And uh, I always thank you for inspiring me into radio. You're always my radio hero. Please wish my old hospital radio colleagues well. I shall do Tony Mac. And you get yourself on with your next show. Good evening, Scotty. Happy New Year to you. Great to see you, says Stuart Logan, the wonderful Stuart Logan. Is there a more competent politician, uh, says Matthew Robertson. He names one of the politicians. Matthew, we're not going there. As you know, McClure is apolitical. I don't really talk much about politics. I know a lot about politics, of course. Something of an expert, apparently. But um, I'm not a political person. 
so I don't know. Uh, hello, Scotty, says Joe Cunningham. Hello, Joe. Dinky do. Can you say dinky do to Bev, Scotty? She's missed the banter. Absolutely. And I wonder how everybody's getting on out in Bothwell there. Ross Trainer, would you like a big dinky do for, for Ross Trainer from Paul Trainer? Of course, Ross Trainer. You're looking just brilliant, dinky do, says Alan. I thank you, Alan. Bless you. Lovely to have you with us. And of course, Scott McClue's Sunday night pop up. Uh, we've now done, I think this is 127. Now, remember, it just started with clicking the icon to say hi to everybody. And uh, now we've got um, 127. And uh, bring back McClue's Pies for the Nation, says Christopher Anthony Smith. Another share, please, everybody. Let's get sharing. Come on. I'll share as well, if it helps. McClue will share. Share to a page. We'll share to a page. Share to a page. Let everybody know what's happening. Uh, my dad drove the Glen Douglas locomotive. It's in the Transport Museum, Captain says the wonderful George Raffin. So there we are. Christopher Anthony Smith, McClue's Pies for the Nation. We had a tray of McClue's Pies. Always say I to a McClue's Pie. I say. Now here we are. I'm just going to do a bit more sharing and uh, we'll put it up there live and everybody can come and join us. So that's gone out to the nation now. Dinky do, I say. Alan McGee is watching. Hello, Alan. Lovely to have you with us. Enjoying your banter on there. A couple of people I had to uh, dump today. I just had to block them because they were swearing. We don't like that. Why are you not on tonight, Scott McClure? Says Alan McGee. Because the studio is out for maintenance, Alan. We've got uh, people looking at it to sort out the gremlin. Once the gremlin's sorted out, McClure shall go back in. There's a brilliant wee model of HMS Hood in the Transport Museum, says Matthew Roberts. Of course, the HMS Hood built at John Brown's. I think she was built in 1916. Am I right? And um, only three people survived the hood, uh, including a Mr. Dundas. So there you are. I always remember my mother telling me that she knew Mr. Dundas, who was one of the survivors from the hood. And I think just three. You see it in the film Sink the Bismarck with Kenneth Moore. Blimey, the hood's gone. Yeah, HMS hood. Uh, so there we go. Battle cruiser. That's no good, Scotty McClue. I know as well. I can't do anything about it. Can you say hello to my wee mum, Sandra, who's watching on her mobile in hospital? She's recovering well. Please tell her we all love her and we're thinking of her. Sandra Mack, you get strong and well, my darling. That's from Tony. And please say dinky do to Molly, darling. This is Tommy Mulholland. Of course I will, Tommy. And a dinky do to you, I say. Right, see the people that are joining us now because we're sharing. Get sharing. Uh, Matthew Roberts says 1918. Wow. So McClure was two years out. Was the war spite 1915 or 1916? Check that for me, Matthew. That would be brilliant. So the hood wasn't actually launched until the end of the first World War, and then she became the flagship for the Royal Navy, HMS Hood, built in John Brown's in Clyde Bank. How fabulous is that? I'm going to do some more sharing, because that was a great help when we shared there. Share to, um, there we go, share. Right, I'm just going to share to a group, bear with me, um, HMS Hood, hi Scotty. Stephen Brown's watching, Alan McGee. We're all going to miss our Scotty McClue fix. Don't worry, Alan. We'll be back next Friday night for more chat. I'm just going to share this to a group. Share in a group. And I've got a wonderful group I'm going to share this with. And they will know that we're on. Here we go. Um, GL. Right, that's that. I'm back with you, folks. Sorry if the coupon's a bit close. There we go. Have to get all this sorted for you. Uh, no, I'll be back with you Friday night. It's only for tonight. Hamish Carr's watching. Big Hamish. Fantastic. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo. Fantastic playing last night. Not to eat, Scotty. My dog loves garden peas. He has them every day. Yes, my dog likes peas as well. So there we go. Right, I'm just going to send this out, folks. There we go. <clears throat> now, what have we got here? 
Say hi to Elizabeth Young, please, says David Young. Absolutely, and dinky do, Elizabeth. Lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome. If you've just joined us, folks, then you're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, broadcasting internationally on Facebook Live across the globe. Hi, Scotty, let's have a corker. We're not on tonight, Hamish. The studio's out for maintenance to find the gremlin. So it'll be Friday night. So you get practicing and we'll have you on Friday night. Fantastic. Paul Sefton's watching. I've got a belter of a hood in my parker, says Rab Hill. It's not a parker, it's a parker. There you are, a very good hood. Keep the, uh, keep the wind out, keep the wind in. Do you remember Scott FM days, Scotty McClure, when callers used to come on the air and scream down the phone? I do, and they'll no doubt be doing it again, but Rome was not built in a day, so there we are. Bairns and idiots should never see a job half done, I always say. Jonathan Welsh is watching. Hello, Jonathan, dinky do. What's Dinky do? And that grinding voice won't be listening to this crap, says the very, very silly Caroline McGrory. It is not a grinding voice. It is the one-stop broadcaster, Caroline McGrory. So we'll have an apology from you. And we do not like our stuff being described like that. So you are a shocker. All right, there we are. I've just told her, I won't bin her off just now. Say hi to Jordan Mackey, please, says Sarah Reed. Grinding voice, indeed. I can talk quietly, you know. It's nice to see the old Glasgow trams in the museum. Also the working trams at Summerlee and Cope Bridge. They should never have been taken off. I think you're absolutely right. I don't think they should have been. How's your history, Scotty? Guys, get sharing. Share, 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 share. Share, 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 share. How's your history, Scotty? Can you guess the time I was brought up in? Peter Conley's asking me. I went to the same school as Sir Jackie Stewart many years after him. So you were brought up in Dumbarton. Am I right? There we are. Was it Dumbarton Academy you went to? Uh, Brian Murray says, Dinky do. That woman was awful cheeky, wasn't she? Um, Julianne Scott, my dog does peas. Yes, of course, Julianne. Where did you get your bonnet fee? I got it from um, Ilkley in Yorkshire. Ilkley Moor Bat Hat. On Ilkley Moor Bat Hat. That just means on Ilkley Moor without your...